Brooke, I'm sure that after the success of Blue Lagoon that you had to read many scripts. Why did you decide to take this one of Endless Love? Well, um, the first attraction that I had to it, along with my mother, was that Franco was going to direct it. Oh, so and the gentleman to your right is one of the reasons. Yes, okay. and then it was the, for it. the script when he had read it. it um, first, there wasn't. A, they added scenes towards the um, after a couple of meetings for me in the script, and the ones that were added in the whole story was very appealing to me because it seemed. I knew it would be done very well, and I knew that it would be an effective film. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, and it seemed that the scenes that were in it for me were not all just very simple, easy scenes. Yeah. Where I just sort of had to look decent. So it was going to be a challenge, yes. a real challenge as an actress. Sure. Brooke, guy, I, I was uh, very pleased with you, because we did talk a little bit about social studies and government and what you were studying, and being a, the fact that I'm a government teacher of, of young ladies Brooke's age. And uh, I was very pleased to see what you did in Congress. And I know you've been asked this uh, all day long, and you're probably tired of it, but could you clear the air for people in Arizona as to just exactly what happened, uh, why you did uh, go to Washington, D.C., um, about the cigarette thing? Well, I had filmed two cigarette commercials, and I, had filmed, and I made one poster for my non-smoking campaign. And originally the <clears throat> government was to have the commercials and the commercials was, were to bear the logo of the government well we had finished them and they were all all ready to be shown and we had word that the government had withdrawn them and there was no reason f why really they said that i was a an effective candidate or role model for teenagers which i thought was a joke anyway because i am a teenager but anyway he that he the um the American Lung Association then approached us and said, well, would you please, the commercials are going to be handed over to us from the government. And the government did that. They gave the American Lung Association the rights to the commercials, and now the commercials have the logo of the American Lung Association. Oh, they do. And what we went to Washington was to, um, it was called an, an investigation as to why the commercials were withdrawn. And I was just there basically to testify and answer the questions. Mm -hmm. And there was no really guilty or non guilty or yeah. resolution yeah. to it. It was just that the commercials are being put out now by the American Lung Association. Mm -hmm.